she needs to either go into the local grocery store or go to the local PTA meeting and talk to real families who are really suffering because of the economic policies that are nothing but failure coming from Kamala and Joe Biden, their administration. Um, Another place that she could be touring is um, an oil field. Wyoming, Alaska, New Mexico, um, all, all over the nation. God has just blessed our land with uh, resources that are for responsible use of mankind. And to show her um, how uh, our our standards for worker safety, for the environment, they're unsurpassed yeah. anywhere on the globe. And how important you know, I, I, it I'm is... Go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of decriminalizing or legalizing marijuana, but there are a lot of people who say that that looked like she was a little bit high there. And I'm, I'm definitely not in favor of the vice president approaching a podium if she is. If she is, I'm not saying she is. Kamala Harris is supposed to take advice from you. What are you smoking? I think Kamala Harris needs a lot of work, but I'm not sure she should be taking advice from someone known for being the dumbest vice presidential candidate in history. All those things that have to do with uh, privacy and sex, the liberals, not the conservatives, are the one who pound, pound, pound after that. Keep in mind, we don't know who all uh, were the instigators in this. I think a lot of it is the Antifa folks. What newspapers and magazines did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand? I've the world? read most of them. What I ones mean, specifically? I'm curious that you. Um, all of them, any of them that um, have. have been in front of me over all these years. You've cited Alaska's proximity to Russia mm -hmm. as part of your foreign policy experience. What did you mean by that? As Putin rears his head and, and uh, comes into the airspace of the United States of America, where, where do they go? It, it's Alaska, it's just right over the border. Why you let him invade Ukraine? I thought you could see him from your house. So just to review, Palin's advice is that Kamala should go to the grocery store and go to a PTA meeting. Listen, I don't think you should advise people to go to PTA meetings when they don't have a kid at that school. Like, I think you can get arrested for that. All of this, by the way, is Sarah Palin trying to call Kamala Harris an elitist, okay? And she's doing it in a house that it looks like a first class lounge at the airport. Look at that. Sarah Palin literally has the same $24,000 refrigerator that they made fun of Pelosi for having. But no, other people are elitists. Good call. Like, is that your house or your office? Because what house has a chair with that base on it? And whose office has such a chuggy ass grace license plate over the stove? Also, get out of the sun, lady. Jesus. What other advice did she give Kamala? Oh, that's right. She told Kamala to take a tour of an oil field. That sounds fun. Like, if that's your advice, you're a crazy person. But she wants Kamala to go to an oil field to learn that it's safe. Hey, Sarah, why don't you go to an oil spill to learn that it's not safe? By the way, all of Sarah Palin's arguments are for progressive policies. What are you trying to prove? She literally says, if you go to an oil field, standards for safety are unsurpassed by anyone in the globe. So you're saying that regulations work, that OSHA guidelines work, work, that labor movements work to provide safe working environments. And without those safety protocols, hard fought by labor activists and environmentalists, by the way, without those protocols, it would be an Exxon Valdez every day. And the reason she wants her to do that is in this segment where Eric Bowling is proving that Republicans are actually camping out to sign up voters because gas prices are up. But here's the fact that Bernie keeps pushing and that Biden keeps pushing, is that oil prices have actually gone down, but gas prices have stayed up. Why? You tell me. Because whether you think this is a supply chain crisis or a mismanagement by the Biden administration or a Putin price hike, the fact remains that energy companies are still charging more per gallon of gas when the cost of the thing they're making gas from has gone down. Seems to me the problem is letting corporations run shit. But no, you you tell us how to be a normal person just like everybody else from that kitchen, which looks like the like center dining hub at an embassy suites. So get the hell out of there before they start that breakfast buffet. All right, and here's a reward for people who stayed around the end of this 
video on the internet, which never happens. Sarah Palin and company are blaming inflation on a one-time $1,200 payment to individuals in America. Did you know that in Alaska, every single year, they pay $1,600 to every single individual because they have so much goddamn oil that they pump out of the ground there? Yeah, so that is a payment to the people from the government of the Soviet Socialist Republic of Alaska. And she's telling people that socialism's bad. Just gonna leave it there. That's the advice you need to give, is that sometimes you should pay the people for siphoning the wealth off of their land. Honestly, get out the sun, it's bad for you.